بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پروٹین ڈی نیچریشن از دی ڈسٹرکشن آف دی کوارٹرنری ٹرشری اینڈ سیکنڈری اسٹرکچر آف پروٹینس پروٹین ڈی نیچریشن میکینزمس کین بی ڈیوائڈیڈ انٹو ٹو براڈ کیٹیگریز نان انزائمیٹک ڈی نیچریشن بائی گلائکوسائلیشن ود سبسیکوینٹ آکسیڈیشن اینڈ کراس لنکنگ اینڈ ڈی نیچریشن ڈیو ٹو ڈسٹرپشن آف ہائیڈروجن آئرنک اینڈ ہائیڈروفوبک بانڈس ڈیو ٹو چینجز ان پی ایچ ٹیمپریچر اور سالوینٹس So taking into consideration the non-enzymatic denaturation, amino acids on proteins can undergo a wide range of chemical modifications that are not catalyzed by enzymes, such as non-enzymatic glycosylation or oxidation. Such modifications may lead to loss of function and denaturation of protein, sometimes to, form, uh, sometimes to a form that cannot be degraded in the cell. In the non-enzymatic glycosylation, glucose that is present in blood or in interstitial tissue or intracellular fluid binds to an exposed amino group on a protein. The two-step process forms an irreversibly glycosylated protein. Proteins that turn over very slowly in body such as collagen and hemoglobin exist with a significant fraction present in glycosylated form. Because the reaction is non-enzymatic, the rate of glycosylation is proportionate to the concentration of glucose present and individuals with hyperglycemia have much higher levels of glycosylated proteins than individuals with normal glucose levels. During non-enzymatic glycosylation of hemoglobin, glucose forms a shift base with N-terminal amino group of protein. With N-terminal amino group of uh, protein, for example, it may be the N-terminal amino group of the valine, as shown here. The valine is uh, shown by the fluorescent green color. And here you can see that the glucose forms a shift base with the amino group. The shift, base, uh, the shift base undergoes a Midori rearrangement to form a stable glycosylated product. Similar non-enzymatic glycosylation reactions occur on other proteins. Four minor components of adult hemoglobin result from post-translational non-enzymatic glycosylation of different amino acid residues. Out of these, hemoglobin A1c is usually mired, which is glycosylated on N-terminal valine. So, collagen and other glycosylated proteins in tissues are further modified by non-enzymatic oxidation and form additional crosslinks. The net result is formation of large protein aggregates referred to as advanced glycation products, AGs. H is a meaningful acronym because H, H, H accumulate with H even in individuals with normal blood glucose levels. Proteins can be denatured by changes in pH that, disrupt, that disrupt ionic and hydrogen bonds at a low pH. pH ionic bonds and hydrogen bonds formed by carboxylate groups would be disrupted, whereas at a very alkaline pH, hydrogen and ionic bonds formed by basic amino acids would be disrupted. Thus, pH of the body must be maintained within a range compatible with the 3D structure of the protein. Physiologically, proteins are denatured by gastric juice of stomach, which has a pH of 1 to 2. Although this pH cannot break peptide bonds, disruption of the native conformation makes the protein a better substrate for digestive enzymes. Temperature increases the vibrational and rotational energies in the bond, thereby affecting the energy balance that goes into making a stable 3D conformation. Thermal denaturation is often illustrated by the process of cooking an egg. 
with heat the protein albumin converts from its native translucent state to a denatured white precipitate protein precipitates can sometimes be dissolved by amph amphipathic agents such as urea guanidine hydrochloride or sodium dodecyl sulfate that form extensive hydrogen bonds and hydrophobic interactions within the protein and last but not the least hydrophobic molecules can also denature proteins by disrupting hydrophobic interactions in the protein for example long chain fatty acids can inhibit many enzymes catalyzed uh, can inhibit many enzyme catalyzed reaction by binding non specifically to hydrophobic pockets in proteins and disrupting hydrophobic interactions thus long chain fatty acids and other highly hydrophobic molecules have their own binding proteins in the cell